to Fine Art Makers Online Edition, also known as FAM. Uh, thank you for joining in today. We are going to talk about an author slash illustrator, Lois Ehlert. And you've probably read some of her books or seen her pictures. Um, it's important to know that fine art comes in all shapes and sizes, and she works largely as a collage artist and mixed media artist. So she uses paints, she uses paper, she finds recyclable goods, and makes wonderful um, pictures from her art. So for example here, um, Mr. Davies gonna make his own collage with some found items around the library. Um, this is her biography that you can check out. It's called The Scraps Book, Notes from a Colorful Life. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna share a few um, excerpts from that while Mr. Davies works. Here's another book of hers, Rainfish and Ralph. And these may look pretty familiar. Um, I just recently did a story time that'll show up on Facebook soon um, with some books by Lois Ehlert. And I shared Ralph and uh, Rainfish and one of her most popular uh, books. She didn't write this one, however, she did the amazing illustrations. As you can see in here, this is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. May look kind of familiar to you. Got some big, bold, and bright pictures here. Um, she is a wonderful, wonderful artist. Um, she was born November 9th, 1934 in Beaverdam, Wisconsin. Um, she's still alive today and working on books, um, making pictures, writing stories, and she has been an artist basically all her life. So, get some supplies. We need um, anything you can find around the house. Paper, especially. We've got paper. You might get some ideas from um, her stories or um, some of her... Um, if you've checked out her items, Mr. Davey will also give you some great ideas as he works on um, his picture, which I believe he's going to make one very cool cat or maybe even two very cool cats. But for example, Ralph here, he's made out of different objects. He's got a pull tab from a can for a nose and some foil for his little name tag. So yeah, so find some supplies around the house. Um, you can use glue as well. You can use crayons, paint, anything you want. All right, so you can pause the video here, and when you're ready, let's get started. Hello, it is me, Mr. Davey, and as you can see, we had to do our, our project a little bit differently this time. Um, normally, we're at the easel with, um, with all the stuff, um, pictures behind us, but because we're going to be doing something a bit more mixed media, collage-like, and having to use a lot of glue, uh, it was going to be a lot easier to do our project or at least for me, my project on the table instead of on the easel. So, first thing I had to do was gather a bunch of different supplies uh, in order to do our piece of multimedia today. Um, I got some old uh, pieces of paper I had painted, and if you recognize this, this is from the Eric Carl um, collage that I did, just like him. Um, got some buttons. Of course, the glue, got some straws, cupcake, ra cupcake wrappers, some cardboard, aluminum foil, lots of different colors of paper. Um, I even got some, look at this, some wrapping paper here. So lots of different um, things that I found around the library, even some ribbon. Um, so basically, you're going to gather up a, just a bunch of different supplies um, for um, your, your your picture, your creation today. Uh, and like Miss Shay said earlier, I am going to be doing uh, some cats. Um, so just like Lois, I went ahead on my piece of paper, just sort of sketched out the size I'm going to need uh, for each of my cats. So I have one big cat here and a little baby cat up here. And um, just so I kind of had an idea of how much room I had, kind of what sort of shapes I was gonna to have to cut out. And by no means is my cat gonna actually look like the one I drew. I just had to kind of piece things together. Um, I did go ahead and pre-cut out some of my pieces. Here are some of my pieces here. Um, Cause I want you to be able to see at least one of the cats calm to life before uh, the video ends. So um, Michelle's gonna tell you a little bit more about Lois and I'm going to start by adding this really, really cool background. And I'm gonna use some aluminum foil for my background because I kind of want this to be maybe like a, a nighttime sky with my cats. 
And I don't know, I just think aluminum foil would make a really cool back or nighttime drop. And right now my, my pieces of aluminum are a little bit bigger than the sheet because I'm gonna glue these down and then I'm gonna cut them down after I'm done with the piece of art just so it's a little bit easier to do. So to take it away, Miss Shea. All right, so I'm reading a couple excerpts from uh, Lois's uh, book, The Scraps Book which is an autobiography, so she uh, kind of talks about herself and the books that she's made. Oh, and one more thing. Um, you may need to use scissors for your project today. Just make sure you have your grown-up's permission or your grown-up's help when using the scissors. All right, so she um, was a big reader when she was a little girl, um, and she thought, you know, I want to make a book, and she loved art her entire life. And she was very lucky because she um, grew up with parents who they loved to make things with their hands. Um, and they would make different crafts. They would go hunting for different um, fruits and vegetables like wild asparagus and onions. And her mom really liked to sew. And she had fabric scraps, buttons, lace, ribbons, um, different kinds of scissors. A lot of the um, objects that Mr. Davy is using for his collage. And her dad had a basement workshop, and so he, she could get free wood scraps, and he taught her how to paint, and how to saw, and use nails. So she had so many art supplies, even when she was little. Um, and because she was wanted to be so creative, um, in a small corner of the house, her dad set up a folding table, and that's where she got to work. And uh, even when she grew up and left home, she took that same table with her. Um, and she went to art school, like uh, many of the artists we've gone over. What does it say what art school she went to? It I'm just says curious. art school. Okay. Yeah. Um, we do have this book for checkout at the library. Um, it's called The Scraps Book. It's kind of written um, from her perspective for kids, but there's still lots of great uh, ideas in here and pictures of her real work and her kind of thought process. Um, and the way that she comes up with her ideas for books, because a lot of times she writes the story and she makes the pictures, um, she kind of, like her parents, would find beauty in the things around her. So if she'd see maybe a squirrel in nature, um, certain fruits in the garden or flowers, bees, she'd get these ideas of stories. So um, the two stories that I had read at the story time uh, was Rain, Fish, and Ralph. Um, so we had Fish and then Ralph, of course, is a dog. And there's a wolf in the story. A lot of her stories have to do with nature and animals. And right now what I'm doing is I figured my cat, because it's outside at night, we're going to need something for our cat to sit on. And so I'm making a fence. And I really like the fact that this is so multimedia, it's so 3D, that it's it gives it another sort of aspect to the to the art with a real 3D process. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. So she always, all the time, and maybe you even do this um, when you're out or even at home, uh, keeping, you know, keeping an eye on different, um, maybe leaves or flowers or different textures you see in nature or even, you know, around your house. Um, it kind of gave her an idea for stories. And so the first thing she would do is she would write a story. Um, she would write down ideas, uh, words that she thought of, so say words to describe a fish. Um, you know, she might use scaly or uh, wiggly, maybe it had a fantail, maybe it was a skinny fish, maybe it was a chubby fish, um, just to get an idea of what kind of uh, fish that she wanted to create for the story. And as she wrote her story, um, a lot of times she would write them from the viewpoint of the animal, and so what they see, and then she would also write a version um, from, say, the owner of the cat, so you'd have the story from the cat's point of view, and then a story from, say, Mr. Davy's point of view. And after she'd write her story, she would sketch an entire book full of basically each page. So she'd number the pages, she'd kind of make an early example of what each page would look like. Which, in a lot of ways, that's kind of called thumbnailing or storyboarding, which a lot of different uh, artists use in the creation of their the stories, especially when they're doing uh, books. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so she would work back and forth um, with the story and then pictures. Um, and as she says, until together they told her story. So you kind of work back and forth and just make sure, you know, the, the pictures go along with the words. And um, so she would work day and night, lots of scraps. Just imagine lots of paper everywhere, 
lots of buttons, lots of pieces of like recycled goods, bottle lids. And her art technique, as Mr. Davey mentioned earlier, is called collage. Um, she says, I cut out scraps like pieces of a puzzle that I assemble and glue into place. So there's a lot to think about. You have so many supplies, but you have to think about shape. You have to think about lines. You have to think about um, the thickness of the items, how you might want to use them. Um, it's kind of abstract in a way. You may see, um, say, a toothpick, and maybe that might look like a whisker to you. Or maybe uh, it could look like an angry eyebrow, perhaps. And of course, she's very messy when she works. Um, you kind of have to be with all these different supplies, but you know, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot you can use. Um, Mr. Davey, you can't see all of it, but there's definitely a mess around the table of different supplies. Yes, there is. It's, you know, a collage, you can only plan so much, but as you work, sometimes you get new ideas. Um, I love this little heart button because it looks just like a little cat's nose. <laughs> and she used uh, real objects. Um, if you check out one of her books, you can see... Um, especially ones with like birds. There's like actual bird seed um, that she would use to take, she'd take a picture of bird seed. And um, in the original stories, they would actually be three dimensional because they'd have the bird seed there um, when the book would be photographed. So it's, uh, it's really interesting to see, you know, the paper and different shiny surfaces, dull surfaces. And I don't know if you've ever seen. Um, like the I Spy books, for example, lots of different objects all around. Um, sometimes her stories look a lot like those. There's something different used for every little part of the animal or tree or the background. Um, and she would photograph things from her collection. She collects so many different things, of course, for ideas. And she kind of works the same way she did when she was a child. Just she goes out for walks, finds what's ever close at hand in nature, looking for things, and gets, you know, great ideas from that. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just laying out my different pieces that I cut out to make sure I like the way they look and to make sure they still look like my cat I want to make. Um, and then after I'm done laying them down, I'm going to then slowly go through it and glue all my pieces down. So my cat will be, will be given... A uh, little bit of life here. And um, as a lifelong artist, um, in her book, she says, you know, you might ask, well, why did I become an artist? And um, Lois says that she thinks that the art chose her, that it's the other way around. She says, I think maybe it's just the other way around. Art chose me. So yeah, and I can see that. I mean, especially, you know, with all the art that me and Miss Shay do uh, with fam. You know, it's just, I, I don't think if we, if we didn't have fun doing it, if we, re if we didn't really enjoy it, we wouldn't be, you know, doing so much fam, so much art, but art is just, it's, it's so much fun. It feels, I don't know, it's really cool to be able to make something and then get people's responses to what, what we've made. And yeah, I really do. I love collage because you can, I mean, you know, there's no certain rules that you have to set in lots of art. But especially, I love her books because she bends all the rules. She, some things she paints, some things she cuts out, some things she takes a photograph of. What's your favorite book by her? I am a big fan of Ralph, actually. Uh, Ralph is a story about a dog, and the title of the book is actually Ralph, because it has lots of R's at the beginning, and it's kind of um, a book about sounds that a dog makes but also textures so how does the dirt feel on your paws and he says rough rough it's kind of you know different ways that you hear words um bark barks on a tree but a dog also says bark um and there's lots of great pictures and i think ralph just looks so cute is there anything else you want to say about uh miss lois um just that you know she has been writing books for many many years and illustrating books um, sometimes, for example, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, she didn't write that, but she did do the great pictures. Um, a lot of books in the library, you'll notice um, her art style is uh, pretty familiar, pretty obvious at times. Um, we also, does, she does a lot of stories in nature, so fall's coming up. There's stories like Leaf Man and Ten Little Caterpillars, plenty of stories great for fall. 
You can, as always, put those items on hold and get them at curbside pickup. We also have our e-resources online and you can uh, access those books digitally. And, you know, just remember, um, keep an eye out, you know, whenever you see nature, different ideas and textures and sounds, um, you can recreate that all through art. And the, you know, as she says in her book, Mother Nature gives away free art supplies, so. And just like, you know, how pieces evolve, originally I was gonna have a second cat, but then I was kind of like, you know, I, I just, I think I just want the one, and then I could use this ribbon of all these different colors and make them into stars in the sky. So it's just a very reflective piece. Mm -hmm. So um, like always, um, we, we would love to see the art that you make, so please post it in the comments below. Um, once this piece is finished, we will post it in the comments below the video. Um, so uh, until next time, this is Mr. Davey and Miss Shay signing off, saying goodbye, and uh, you know, we can't wait to see the art that you make. Bye. Bye-bye.